Buddhists in Jakarta began the Fesak Day with the Pindapata ritual, where the devotees offer their donation for the temple and monks. They were patiently waiting for the temple's official in Anjali Post to collect their offerings. These donations are not just simple charities, but also serves as gratitude for what the monks have done for their followers. According to the Ekayana Arama Temple spokesperson Deni Wijaya, this year the temple is welcoming at least 10,000 devotees to celebrate Fesak Day. This figure doubled compared to the previous year since public restriction had been lifted in December last year. However, temple management encouraged the devotees to remain comply with health protocols, including using hand sanitizer and wearing a mask. Dalam gedung sendiri itu bisa mencapai 2000 umat, sedangkan di luar gedung bisa mencapai 10000 umat. Sehingga uh, kita sudah mempersiapkan uh, peta-peta untuk penempatan umat dapat mengikuti acara secara husuk dan dengan berlang- dan acara dapat berlangsung dengan baik. The 2023 Fesak Day carries the team that aims to achieve harmonious community in a peaceful country with tolerance and coexistence. Attending the celebration, Jakarta Military Commander Major General Muhammad Hassan mentioned that this team fits perfectly into the political year that Indonesia is about to enter. Sangat sinkron dengan Indonesia yang mungkin membutuhkan saat ini. Kita butuhkan Indonesia yang damai, Indonesia yang selalu rukun dan menghargai kebenekaan. Itu yang paling penting kita keluarkan dari semangat Waisak ini. Fesak Day is not only a celebration of Buddha's great life, but also a reminder of the timeless teachings and principles. The day serves as a beacon of hope, promoting peace, compassion, and understanding in a world that often craves such values. Shara Mediana, Andresa Putra for C Today.